Hello, in this video I'm going to show and explain how to build a simple logic 11 converter, bidirectional of course, from 3.3 volts to 5 volts and the other way around. The reason why we need such a device is because there are sensors that let's say work at 5 volts and we want to connect them to a PC Duino or Raspberry Pi or for some odd reason we got 3.3 volts devices we want to shift the level to 5 volts. Uh, if you wait till the end of the movie, you can see the making of the logic level converter itself. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of time, but the skill of soldering that you need uh, is it for beginners. But you can try it, the parts are very cheap. All of the stuff was ordered from AliExpress and it arrived quite quick, less than a month. Have fun! Okay, my bidirectional logic level converter is finished. My first one I built. Uh, let's see it in action. This is the power supply. This side is giving 5 volts. This side is giving 3.3 volts. This is the ground. Let's see the circuit itself. see but again I just decided to sort things out and see what comes out oops a minute let's connect it oh almost forget let's see the schematics of it Is. This is the 3.3 power supply, this is the 5 volt power supply, this is the low voltage signal, this is the high voltage signal, this is the BSS183 component, and here is how you connect it. Now let's see it in action. I left the resistor legs intentionally this way I can connect it to the breadboard the power is connected now let's check it out if I insert a data that is zero I connected a digital data to ground it should give out zero volt. Let's see if it works. And as you can see, it gives zero volts. Now let's connect the data to one. Now let's measure it up. It should give about 5 volts. Let's see. As you can see, it gives 4.2 volts. It isn't 5 volts, 
but 4.2 volts will be recognized by the other device, Arduino, PC Duino, Raspberry Pi, or whatever, as a logic one. Now let's try the other way around. I'm disconnected. I just disconnected the data of the 3.3 volts. I'm connecting the data of the 5 volts to ground. It should give me zero. And it indeed it gave me zero. Now I should connect it to one. To plus five volts, meaning there is a signal. Now this should give 3.3 volts. Let's see if it works. And it gave 3.2 volts. This shall be recognized as the logic one. Well, there it goes. Uh, the cost of building such a device is very cheap. On this PCB, I assume that I can build, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, about six channels if I want it. This is a single channel. If I want to connect it to Y2C, uh, SPI, or uh, create more channels, I need to do those in parallel. Build a single circuit over here, another one here, and another one here. I can stack about six of those. Well, goodbye for now.